Hello everybody, it's your boy Knockout194 and I'm back with a video on Wasteland Survival. It came out a couple of weeks ago, it's a lot of fun, a lot of people like it, including myself. But this is a tips and tricks video, well not really tips and tricks, it's more of a service announcement, but that's neither here or there. Every stream I'm in, people want to know how you get the horse. People want to know what does a spirit skill do for you. And what people want to know but don't know about is line of sight. Nobody is talking about line of sight in this game, and that's pretty much why I'm making this video. I'm not sure if it was done deliberately, if they put that in the game on purpose, or if it's a glitch in a patch it later, but it looks like they did it deliberately, okay? So let's get this thing started. The horse. The horse, man, it's pretty easy to get, I'm not going to lie. The hardest thing about this horse is the horseshoes. The horseshoes are the rarest parts to get. And you need four of them. Okay? But luckily for you, you can get two guaranteed horseshoes from raiding the AI bases nearby. Okay? Guaranteed. I forgot which ones there are. There's only three of them that you have access to without the horse, so it wouldn't be that tough. You see the red icon on the bottom left? And his neighbor right above him? And this guy here. You want to raid those three bases. One, two, three three just bring iron axes with you break the walls down get in there search the chest and you'll get your your, your your two horseshoes in no time okay everything else about the horse stable drops in the red zones without the horse you only have access to two red zones you have one here the rock zone and then a red zone forest zone over here okay now what, what i was doing was that i was literally traveling back and forth i would go to the rock zone then go to the forest go to the rock zone go to the forest and i didn't care if my inventory was full i didn't care about the loot i just wanted the parts okay that's the fastest way you're going to do it and um if you ever see oaks like oak seeds make sure you pick them up don't leave a single oak seed behind because that acts like the gas for your horse but it's horse food that you can grow inside your house it's amazing you don't have to buy it you can but you don't have to you can grow it, and that's and that's pretty dope, man. Now let's travel over here to this red zone so I can show you what the um line of sight. I'm gonna demonstrate line of sight, and I'm gonna demonstrate the spirit skill and what that does for you. Okay, line of sight. Now you want to make sure you're crouching before you break line of sight. Don't break line of sight and then crouch, because they'll still chase you down. This pretty much works on any enemy that doesn't chase you at full speed. Okay, so this is going to, going to exclude wolves, coyotes, the Krugers, and the Tramp. I think those are the only ones so far. And, um, yeah, but this thing works especially well against Gooms. Why? Because Gooms have a lot of health, they hit hard, and they really take your durability, your weapon durability, all of that stuff. Right, I got a lot of guys here. You see this guy, the tramp? I'm never going to lose him. But we could do it on this bear right here. Let's, let's, let's break line of sight on this bear. See that? You could break line of sight on trees, chests, rocks, and cacti. So we're just going to kill this guy here. Break line of sight again. And as you can see, breaking line of sight allows you to continuously get sneak attacks in. You know? Although a bear has armor, so it takes a little a little longer to kill him than normal. Uh, let's find a goon though. Alright, here's a goon. Perfect. Look. You can break line of sight, see that? He had no idea. The reason why he's aggroed again is because he's still within my my radius. So if you don't want to deal with him, make sure he's outside of your inner circle before you stand up. As I'm about to demonstrate here, see? He's not aggroed on me anymore. If I had a longer weapon, I would be able to hit him over this chest. Meaning I could stab him, <coughs> crouch. Stab, crouch. You know, see? Constant sneak attacks. <coughs> Constant. And I got a level up. Oh, that's, that's even perfect. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, spirit. Now, like I said, that works around chest, rocks, trees, and cacti. The line of sight trick. So make sure you make great use of that. The spirit. 
It says here you need... Oh, wow, you can actually get Krugers. I did not know that. <coughs> That's new to me. So you need 5 points into this to get Coyotes. 10 points for the Wolves. 20 points for the Bear. And now 25 points for the Krugers. Okay. Now you see it says 20 out of 20. That means I have 20 points available out of my 20 points, obviously. If I were to use, if I were to tame a, a, a wolf, that would use 10 points out of my 20 and I would have 10 left. Allow me to tame another, another wolf or two coyotes. Alright, you see this guy? He's neutral because I have my points available to me, you feel me? So I'm, I'm going to tame him. And in doing so, you see it says 15. I don't have 20 points anymore. So I, the bear is off the table right now until this coyote dies. But I still have 15. So I could tame another coyote. I could tame a wolf. Or I could have two wolves, right? Like you could, you could, you could pick and choose like that. <coughs> Make sure you get the final kill on the enemies because um the animals do not share XP with you. They do not share XP with you, so... Make sure you get the final hit. All right, here's a wolf here. We'll take that bad boy. And I can get five out of twenty. I could get another coyote if I say true. So we're gonna kill this guy with the line of sight. Easy. Let's see what he dropped. Corn seeds. Alright, whatever. I'll take it. And that's pretty much the gist of the video. Make sure you raid the AI base. Issues. Make sure you. Oh, this. Hold on. Hold on. Take him. <laughs> they sometimes drop uh, stable parts as well, so you, you always want to kill them, if you de especially if you don't have uh, your horse yet. Uh, it's probably easier to do this. Yeah, I'll take that, take that, put that away, and take that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the gist of the video. And, um, oh yeah, one more thing. The animals do not follow you home. When you leave... They will not follow you. So every time you go into a zone, you have to tame your animals again. Okay, not really a big deal. It's not a problem. But anyway, you guys take it easy. I hope this video helped you guys. Some of you guys who have those questions. And um, if you need further details, just holler at me in the comment section. You know, like and subscribe. And I'll see you around. Peace.